Who do the Jets play? They play Denver. What's a good meal out there in Denver? Mile High Green Chili. That's right, Mile High Green Chili. It's got pork, it's got chilies, it's got jalapenos. Every day, cooking, Dad, cooking every day. Welcome in, welcome back. All right, these are some of the ingredients we're going to be using. Tamales, jalapenos, tomatoes, bell pepper, and chili. Um, I think I might have gotten the wrong one, but hey, it all tastes good. So we're going to oil these up, and uh, we're going to put them in a 425-degree oven for 30 minutes. So we got to get down to business. The Jets won last week again, and um, hey, it's three in a row, four and two. Things are looking up. They're looking way up. But here's our roasted vegetables. All right, that was about you know, 30 minutes in the oven. So here's the rest of our ingredients. We got the chop. We already chopped up our tomato, our garlic. You know, and here we got our seasoning. I'll put a link to all of those below. Um, and I'll put a link to the recipe that I use that I use for inspiration. I just added a couple of different things. So we, the recipe called for a pound and a half of um, pork butt. Um, I, I wound up only being able to find something that was like a little over two. So we're going to take this, cut this in half, and I'll probably freeze the rest. So in with some salt and pepper. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to brown these up. Now everything's going into a Dutch oven. I believe the recipe called for a slow cooker. I'd much rather put, you know, my meat and my stuff in a Dutch oven and put it in the uh, oven if I possibly can. Um, but I do use my slow cooker, you know, for that eight hour cook, put it in in the morning and come home and have a meal. Yeah, we're gonna do some videos about that, that time of year. All right, so we're gonna let these, you know, come off the bottom of the pot by itself. Don't go pulling it. If you don't want to release, let it stay there. All right, so we got these pretty much all browned up. And now we're gonna move on to cutting up our veggies. You know, this week, guys, Jets, uh, you know, going to Denver, they don't, their offense don't look too hot. They got one of the best defenses in the league. So we're going to see if this is the point where the Jets do the Jets and wind up losing three straight. I don't think so. I think they're actually a very young, talented team. So, and we go with our butter. And then we're going to go ahead and add some garlic to this. And we're just going to let it, you know, kind of simmer. I'm not trying to brown it up really fast. And guys, you know, I'm not trying to cool it down. Those are um beef stock ice cubes. I made a bone broth beef um ice cubes. You know, for recipes just like this. I try to make my own stock or if I can, or own broth. Save a little bit of money. And I like to cook. We're going to go ahead and get all that flavor off the bottom of the uh, pot for our Dutch oven. All right, so we're going to let that melt and come up to temp. And then in with our spices. The original recipe called for fresh parsley. Um, I didn't have any, so I went with half the amount of uh, dry parsley. You know, it's a little bit more intense in flavor. Then also went in with some uh, lemon pepper. I don't know that felt lemon pepper decided to go in here. So, I right, we let that melt. And then we're going to go in with our tamales. And then we're going to go in with the rest of our vegetables. Now, these tomatoes pretty much disappear in the, in the soup or the chili. All right, so we're going to let that all meld up and come to temperature a little bit. 
And then we're going in with the pork. Okay, so in with our, our favorite better than billion chicken. I actually meant to grab the roasted garlic, but I grabbed the chicken instead. Hey, works. All right. Uh, we did add a little bit more liquid to that and into the oven. Two hours went by. And this is what we got. So now we're going to check. This is done, but we're going to check for doneness with tenderness. See how tender this is? Um, it's not right quite where you want to, you know, breaks off in your mouth and kind of melts. So we're going to go ahead and do another hour, 45 minutes. Take this another hour or so. All right, through the magic of editing, one hour has gone by. So smelling good. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. Different. Something I've never had before. Guys, you got to step out your comfort zone. Let's take up. Uh, see, now this is right here is what I'm looking for. There's no resistance. You know, you probably could be able to eat this with uh, no teeth. All right, we're going to go ahead and give this a little taste. This is our last chance to season this up before we put our last ingredient in. So let's taste for salt and pepper. All right, we're going to go in with a little salt and a little bit of pepper. Guys, give us a little like. Doesn't cost much. Just helps algorithms find us. All right, so we're gonna give this a little stir. We're actually just breaking up the meat a little bit. Get some of the bigger pieces, make them a little smaller. All right, so we're gonna just cover this up and put this on the side. And we're gonna move on to our last ingredient. Yep, Philadelphia cream cheese. So we're going to temper the, the cheese here down. We don't want to just take that whole thing and stick it in a hot pot. We want to gradually bring it up to temperature. The recipe called for this to sit out and be room temperature. But of course I forgot. And this is straight out of the refrigerator. So we're going to go ahead and just keep adding a little bit. Break it down. Bring it up to, you know, more of a pot temperature. Some more. Now, how many of you out there think the Jets are going to win this week? I do. All right. It took like about six spoonfuls to get this right to where it's at right now. So now our pot, you know, I turned on the burner so that we can add this uh, cream cheese in. I went and went about half. And we're just going to give this a stir. Now I'm a little reserved with putting cream cheese in this pot. But, you know, you got to expand your horizons. That's one of the reasons why we're doing this series or who the Jets play. You know, taste different things. Enjoy the world. All right, let's just give this a little taste. <laughs> That's good. All right. And we're not, again, we're not going to go in with all of it at one time. We'll give this a chance to melt down. Guys, this is a great meal. You, got, I, you know, one of the other things is out there in Denver is the Rocky Mountain oysters. <laughs> Wasn't doing that. No, sir. Wasn't going to do it. All right. It's time to get ready to plate this up. 
All right, there's our first ladle. Guys, this is smelling delicious. You know, look, the tomatoes are gone. You can't see them. The cream cheese is just kind of seemed to work its way in there. You know, we got all the peppers and the onions. You know, all you need is a nice little side of cornbread. Boom, there you go. Guys, this is delicious. It's creamy. It's The pork is tender as all get out. You gotta try it. Every day, cooking, dad, cooking every day. J E T S, Jets, Jets, Jets. And this is what YouTube says you'll like next. Thanks for stopping in.